Hey, John from B2Web here, and in this video I'm going to show you uh, basically four steps I took for three of my larger websites uh, to speed them up tremendously. The load times across all three sites were amazing. I'll show you those stats. Uh, one of the sites went from taking 6.6 .6 seconds to 1. seconds to load, so it's just it's just awesome. I didn't spend a nickel to do any of this. I just took some time, did some research, and uh, these are my findings and what I did to maybe help you speed up your uh, WordPress websites. Now, by way of background, uh, there are three sites. They're all on WordPress. Two of them use the Genesis framework. One uses uh, WP Zoom specifically. It's a video Zoom theme because it's a video site. Uh, they all have, uh, two of them have well over 100 long posts loaded with images and videos. One of them has about 50 posts, but the posts in there are anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 words. So it's a fair amount of content, lots of images, quite a bit of videos. So these, uh, these sites are starting to slow down and not load as fast as I'd like. Hosting situations, um, two of the sites are on my HostGator VPS, so it's not a... Uh, not the, the low cost shared hosting, it's shared hosting, but I have a, a, a dedicated amount of space with the VPS. The other site is on actual just Bluehost uh, regular good old five bucks a month shared hosting. And even with that, which is about, you know, not, not not great a hosting when you're running larger sites. Um, the improvements were, were definitely noticeable. In fact, so good. I'm I'm I was initially going to think about really upgrading that site to a different hosting, but for now it's uh, working just fine. So here's site A. I went from 4.74 seconds to 1.89 seconds. Site B 3.27 to 252, and the big improvement 668 to 1.6 seconds. So big big time improvements. Every site now is uh, well below three seconds, which is uh, a, a really good um, benchmark to shoot for. So here's what I did. I, four, I split it up into four basic steps. The first is, is I installed WP Super Cache. It's a caching plugin for WordPress. Now here's the thing. Um, you probably know about caching plugins. It's the first thing you read on any blog post about what to do to speed up your website. Uh, and I've done it before. This isn't the first time I've used it, but here's what I did. I set it up properly. I actually went into the Advanced uh, Features tab, and I went through and I set it up properly. And I learned to do it properly because HostGator has a really good... Uh, uh, tutorial on how they recommend you set up all the uh, features of WP Supercache. So just Google something like HostGator's WP Supercache recommendations and you'll find it. Uh, and that's really why I went with WP P super caches because those were really clear instructions from a from an authority being a, a hosting company on how to do it properly and it made a big difference. So I tested the speeds after just doing that and setting it up properly and the speeds had improved quite a bit. The second thing I did is I deleted unused and unnecessary plugins and I got rid of some plugins I really liked like yet another related post plugin Yarp there uh, and any plugins that weren't activated I, I just deleted them all so I went through and just combed through and was more or less merciless and Unless the plugin was absolutely critical to uh, the site, I got rid of it, and that helped as well. And if you're running WordPress and you're like uh, me, you end up adding a bunch of plugins, and they just sort of you, you don't need them, and you don't or you don't use them. Uh, get rid of them; it can make a big difference. All right, uh, third step here is I install new plugins. Ironically, I had to install new plugins. There are speed optimization plugins, um, and these did work. Uh, one of the widely recommended ones, use Google Libraries there at the bottom, didn't work for me and it conflicted with a lot of other stuff I was doing. And in fact, two of the sites wouldn't even load. Um, I had major problems. I thought my sites were toasted. I didn't know what I did. And it was that plugin. Uh, other publishers say it's a good plugin and, and it works for them. It didn't work for me. It's an optimization plugin, so I just dumped it and you know, my sites are going just fine. So the big one I did was Smush It. Uh, it's a free WordPress plugin. All, all of four of these here are free plugins. Um, it optimized all my images and even the ones that were already on the site. It went back. I did a bulk optimization. It took a while for the sites, but it did it and helped my images load faster. Share Center Pro. There's not a lot of word out on the web about this one. I did some digging to look for this. Um, I noticed I was using Dig Dig for my social sharing buttons, which place the buttons on the left side or the right side of, of a post. And um, you know, a lot of you see it a lot. A lot of big websites use it. And uh, the problem was is that plugin would just those sharing buttons would take a long time to load, and it was slowing down my site. And I, I read other people the same uh, experience. So Share Center Pro is a social sharing plugin, and it loads uh, it asynchronously. Um, now I'm not a super super tech guy. Essentially it, it 
basically what it claims is that it's not going to slow your site down and that's the case um, I only use it on two of the three because the third has built-in social sharing and they load very quickly they're built in the theme the WP zoom theme so this has sped up um, the the loading of the web pages as well as the social sharing buttons a lot using using that so I like share center pro it's free as well WP optimize is also a plugin that will um, basically clean up your database uh, for me I had a lot of spam comments I had a bunch of post revisions and I just got I just deleted all of that stuff I didn't need any of my revisions I didn't need any of all the spam stuff just cleaned up the uh, WordPress database big time and WP uh, minify that helps uh, that compresses the JavaScript and CSS files into uh, one file or you know combines them into uh, fewer files and so it loads the site faster and, and that one worked well well um, I didn't have any issues with any of these four plugins. They all work really well um, and together. I didn't test in between adding each individual plugin. I just put them all on there. They're very well known and, and highly used uh, plugins and it worked well. The only one I had problems with was to use Google Libraries. So the first thing I did, and this probably had a significant impact, um, there's a new service called Google's PageSpeed and it's uh, it's in beta you have to apply to get in I was accepted within within like, the same afternoon that I did this last week and it does two things it rewrites your web pages dynam dynamically and compresses your files all of your files and so your pages will load faster but it also serves those optimized pages via Google servers so as far as I can tell it functions as somewhat like a CDN um, they don't claim that it is a CDN but it's uh, you know it's if you do some research on it, you're going to see some bloggers talking about it in the same context as Cloudflare. And Cloudflare is a CDN, which basically um, serves your website from servers all over the world, so it speeds it up. And um, I looked at Cloudflare extensively. Unfortunately, I would have had to pay for it, so I decided to go with um, Google PageSpeed. Besides, it's a Google project. Uh, 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 project or service and I figured that's not going to um, hurt things and it was fairly easy to set up. Um, all I had to do is change some DNS records um, via my um, cPanel in the hosting uh, service and they have uh, clear instructions how to do that. It was really simple to do. I, I had all three sites ready to go with uh, PageSpeed in less than 30 minutes or so. So and it's free for now. Apparently they're going to start charging all decide down the road whether I'll stick with it. So that's what I went with and uh, it was the last thing I did for optimizing my sites and all of all of these things that I did they all made a tremendous tremendous impact on the on the load speed of my websites. So the last option which I've already discussed and alluded to was Cloudflare. It's been around for quite a long time. It's a CDN. Lots of big websites use it. Um, some people have had negative comments about it but more or less it, it it's widely praised to be very effective. Uh, I didn't go with it because I went with Google PageSpeed. I have an SSL certificate for my site for one of them and that means I was going to have to pay $20 a month for Cloudflare. Otherwise it's a free service. Um, if it was free I probably would have tried it but I didn't want to have to get stuck with a $20 a month uh, bill to use it and PageSpeed for now is free. So those are the steps I took um, and it worked tremendously. I mean look at these numbers. 6.6 .6 to 1.6 seconds you know even that's an improvement I mean it's uh, almost a full second off and big time improvement there so you know I spent most of the time researching and testing um, you know but if you just follow along and, and implement these steps you could probably get it all taken care of in, in less than well less than half a day I spent uh, well over a day doing all of this so it's definitely worth it your sites um, when they load faster it's just uh, it's much better for uh, you know your users uh, from what I read it's it's better for search engine optimization and rankings and so forth so anyways hope you found this helpful uh, I you know there's a lot of other project products and plugins and everything I, I combed through and tested several things uh, but these these were the key uh, steps that I took that had the, the best impact and that didn't cause any problems